So I'm now um, showing again the biofield aspect of the laser biorhythm system because last time the volume was not good enough. So I hope now everybody, even the signatures, can hear it. <laughs> and look at this. He is my supportive agent here. So that's the only thing with these mats. Uh, you have to keep them out of the reach of <laughs> of okay. Anyway, so the biofield has been part of uh, many theories. It was named in many ways, like the the chi in uh, China, the prana in India, then Mesna. Mesna called it the uh, uh, animal magnetism. <laughs> And it is animal magnetism, you see, that's why I think the most healthy way <laughs> to get some, some energy is through animal magnetism. And Mesma, he was born uh, in Constance, close to the Bodensee, where we'll have our next uh, seminar in September. Um, he basically came up with an idea, he put salt, water, fill, uh, big buckets in the center of the room and then put some iron inside and had people always as a whole group hold hands and hold hands with this um, this metal that, that was sticking <laughs> in a in a uh, big bucket with salt water. So what was this? This was just, just simply a battery, a big battery. And I, I don't know, I've never seen anywhere this explanation, but that's basically where this whole effect came from, that he started, again, we started this idea of energy medicine, uh, basically with the first battery. At his time, there was no electricity, <laughs> no, um, no batteries, and he came up with this idea, and those group sessions had many people here so, of course, then it get, got mixed up with a lot of um, uh, kind of very doubtful spiritual ideas, and so it all got diluted. But he started, we started the idea of the the prana, the chi in the Western uh, in the Western world. So now. There were many people who said they had found ways to measure the, the field. Uh, they came up with aura photography, which is just basically <laughs> a Photoshop method to put some colors around a person. Or <coughs> uh, the latest was the body field decoded, which basically was the most ridiculous uh, idea about putting a the idea of a body field onto a random number generator. So there were some some uh, pictures being generated of the body field, just the same as Kilian photography, uh, that there is an electric discharge around all bodies that have been connected to an electro uh, and to an electric high field generator. So there is nothing about this unique to a biofield. Um, it happens for a, um, a, um, a key and, a, and a, any li a not living object, just the same like for uh, a, a living object. But now, here with the laser, we have uh, something that is maybe the first approach to making it a reproducibly show the biofield. And here I will say that I don't believe it's anything like a scalar field or subtle field or any kind of new form of energy. I think it's just an expression of the body being an antenna and also being it's an, a source of energy because the body, as I showed with the little the multimeter, uh, you can measure electric currents anywhere in the body with a 20 or 40 dollar multimeter. So the body is a source, it's a battery, and it's also an antenna for everything that's around. 
And this has been so even before there was electromagnetic radiation. There was, there always has been a magnetic field of the Earth. And <laughs> the details are more interesting here in Tehran. So the, all this has been that there is an electric field and there is an interaction with the body, body's own battery effect and uh, generator effect. Now, this is obvious, it's measurable, and modern medicine, modern science just disregards it because, not because they don't understand, simply because it doesn't fit into the whole uh, idea of um, the body being a chemical factory, not an energetic factory. So now here we can show this, I show this here, it's a little setup. There's basically, we always need, as I say, a, 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 a circuit. Here we have the reference where we, I have this just as the grounding reference here. Our mellow is using it <laughs> to play. This basically the grounding electrode. We can also plug it into a grounding outlet. And then here we have the, that's basically the output of the health integrator. It puts out maximum 14 volts. Um, and here I have the other side of the laser input. That's here. And just stand on this. Yes. And now look at this. When I come closer, see? I come closer. And you see now it's about like one meter my field. But in the morning or after I've done some exercises with it, I can go up to two, three meters away. But it's not that it's going miles, it's going two, three meters, and we all know this. When we come into the field of a person closer than about a meter, or in America, it's maybe three, four meters, you say, excuse me. Because you feel there is something, and this is exactly an electromagnetic phenomenon, it's a resonance phenomenon, and this you see here very, very well. And because it's a resonance phenomenon, it depends on your, t on your monetary condition on the day of, or of the, on, the, on the hour of the day, on your position in the magnetic field. So on many things, so you have to adjust it a little bit, the amplification and the matching. So you can get a resonance that that goes up to two, three meters distance. So this is so much about Mesmer's biofield, but again, this is not the main purpose of the laser. The purpose of the laser of therapy, not about proving some science or uh, some paranormal effects. It is a system to treat with the eigenfrequencies of 